There are those that claim the office of the apostle and the bishop, um, but don't show forth the fruit of the apostle and the bishop. And, it, and it's not our place to judge them, but after a while, you do know a tree by its fruit. After a while, you do know a tree by the type of fruit it's manifesting. This is not just a pastor. This is not just a preacher. This is what I would consider a bona fide apostle in the body of Christ today. He's an overseer, a founder, a builder, a visionary, amen, a very successful businessman, most importantly, a successful family man. I love him with all my heart. I like him. I don't, even, I don't just love him. I like this guy. He all right. Amen. Uh, his name is uh, Dr. Apostle Bishop Right Reverend. Amen. Michael Friedman. <laughs> Amen. Glad to have oh, you. Always good to see you. Like it's a joy. Um, I've never seen you without the joy of the Lord on you. Praise God. I've never been around you. Praise and God. Not come in your presence and didn't feel a little bit better. Amen. Not that I felt bad every time I was around you, but yes, just sir. something about being in your presence that, that demands another level of vision, another level of faith. It pulls it out of a preacher to want to stretch to another level. And we, are, we appreciate and we applaud the gift to the body of Christ that you are. Amen. You're one church in three locations in the, in the Maryland, D.C. corridor. And, and soon to be Virginia. And soon to be Virginia. Yes, uh, Spirit of faith. Spirit of faith. Spirit of faith. And you're spread out all over the country, of course. Yes, sir. But your base of operations where you oversee in particular is right there in the D.C. Uh, Maryland corridor. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, knowing who you are. It's obvious you know who you are. Yeah, and, um, yeah. What does it mean to know who you are? And how does it help your destiny when you know who you are? Wow. Um, firstly, let me just thank you for having this opportunity to be with you. And certainly Paul and Jan yeah. Crouch, they're doing a tremendous job throughout the body of Christ, the world yes, sir. at large. And uh, the body of Christ would not have the impact without what they are giving the body of Christ. And then What's been going on here Amen. tonight, man? Praise God. Uh, a fired up audience. Yes, sir. Uh, you got Bishop Todd. How are you? <laughs> but uh, I, I see and have identified a, uh, an authentic crisis there relative to knowing who you are. Uh, there are not, unfortunately, a lot of Christians who really know who they are. Um, you cannot allow anyone to offer you a definition of yourself other than God. Mm -hmm. the, the power to define is the power to fulfill. Mm -hmm. And whatever you can't define, you cannot fulfill. Mm -hmm. And if the wrong definition is offered to you, yeah. then you will fulfill that which has been given to you. And, and, and although, I mean, just let's like uh, uh, Todd Hall, I was just talking to him. I, I mean, he sat here and spoke so eloquently and shared. And, and a lot of preachers who don't know who they are will try to mimic another mm -hmm. just because they feel that that's the acceptable way of going about becoming successful and not going to God to get their definition. Wow. Wow. Are, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sir, I do. I, I, I struggled with that for years because being a fourth generation pastor coming up in my life, uh, Zach, I used to get in front of the mirror, man, and try to preach like some of these guys, you young lords. And, and, and I found out that that was not where God wanted to, me to be. And, and, and here's the dangerous part. I started to allow men to give me what they thought of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. You understand yes, what I mean by I that? Do. I do. And then God said, I need to get you to divorce yourself from the opinions of people. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. people, people will talk about you whether you're doing good, mm -hmm. bad, mm -hmm. or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And he told me that he was the only one that had the right to define me. Yeah, because he made you. Because he made me. Because he made you, yeah. And, 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 and the bishop, he talked about, okay, God has created us in 
his image. But unfortunately, a lot of Christians have created God in their image. And what they suppose God to be, then that's what he is. There's a way that seems right. Mm -hmm. But the end of that way is death and destruction. Yes, sir. So when God began to tell me that I'm the only one who can offer you a definition, Mm -hmm. man, it caused something on the inside of me that created a boldness and a confidence. Now, 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 I got to caution you because this teaching, teaching must come with a caution. When you start really knowing who you are, you're going to find out who others are around you. That's good. That's real good. Yeah, I understand. True. Because people try to contain you yes. to where they want you to be, yeah. sometimes for their own benefit. A lot of times. Yeah, a lot of times. A lot of times. So true. And, and, and I'm not real impressed with, with church anymore like I used to be. I'm, 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 I'm more interested in relationship. Because yeah. I've done church, and you can get hung up. And what Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisee, yeah. which is hypocrisy. Right. You, you, you can get so full of stuff and carry out the work of the church, but never do <laughs> what you're supposed to do, church yeah. work. Yes, yeah, sir. And so... I wanted to really find out from the word, how can I do this? Because I begin to talk about, and and I need others to hear me carefully, because when you start talking like this, you're going to really have to have a word to back up what you're talking about. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of Christians who don't believe in themselves. They need some, I just need somebody to believe in me. For what? (laughs) If nobody believes in you... He who has created you believes in you. Believes in you. Tell them that in the camera. Say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if no one believes in Go you, ahead. the very one who has created you believes in you, and he has established you for such a time as this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and that was the very thing that happened with Adam in the garden. God had to make sure that boy could call every animal by its legitimate name. Before he brought a wife on the scene and presented that wife to Adam, Adam had to go through the series of identifying animals the way that God had identified them. Now when he was calling everything right, he knew that this boy would call his wife right because if he got the animal's name right, he would always get the woman's name right. Any man that calls you out of your name, that boy out of order. (laughs) He's not functioning properly. You got to hear me on this one. Jesus said, (laughs) Jesus said, now I know Jesus is good enough for you. Listen to me. He asked his disciples, how are men defining me? Who do they say I am? Who do they say I am? Who who are they saying? Matthew 16. Matthew 16. Yeah. I told you it was the walking Bible in the back there. (laughs) You know all the Bible. Uh (laughs) How are men defining me? Yes, sir. Who are they saying the Mm. son of man am? Mm. And then his disciples begin to offer the definitions. Mm. Some say you this and Mm. some say you are or that, and, yes. and, and, and they're saying all kinds of things about mm-hmm. you. He said, okay, okay, enough with what they are saying. They say, who do you say? <laughs> this audience know the Bible, boy. <laughs> I, I like preaching to a good taught church. <laughs> because you will live at the level that you are taught. Yeah, yeah. And if you, and yeah, say yeah, that again, yeah. Say that again. You will live at the level that you are taught. That's good. That's very good. And if you would, those who know better will do better. Mm-hmm. That's real good, Bishop. You know what I'm saying? I understand. It, it does matter who you listen to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because who you listen to, you will soon become like. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why some are experiencing depression now. 
-hmm. Some are experiencing defeat because somebody told them something different from what God should have told them. Mm -hmm. and, and they received it. Mm -hmm. so, so, so Jesus turned to them and said, okay, tell me, who do you mm -hmm. say that I am? And Pete, Pete is my man. Mm -hmm. I love Pete. Mm -hmm. Pete walked with an extraordinary boldness. Yeah, he did. You know, when others wouldn't do anything, even when it was wrong, he did it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, take a knife, cut a boy's ear off, you know what I'm saying? And Jesus got to put it back on for him. Peter said, I'll tell you who you are. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus paused and said, no man offered you that definition. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you, you didn't get that from flesh and blood. Yes, yeah, sir. Only God can reveal. See, see. Something. <laughs> something. Something. Yeah, man. Only God. He said, for that was revealed to you mm -hmm. from my father, which is in heaven. And until you can have your identity revealed to you from God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, uh, Zach, this is so liberating. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so liberating. It'll set you free, man. Yes, sir. Because you'll come out from being a people pleaser. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. then, then Jesus told him this quite interesting. He said, now... The word is going to define you. He said, you got my def definition, right? Let me make sure you understand your definition. Boy, watch this. I'm going to tell you who you are. And the message Bible says who you really are. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. some people have offered definitions, but it's not who you really are. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need to know who you really, really are. Yeah, that's good. That's you good. Know who you really are. Well, tell them. He said, just like you have defined me, I'll define you. And you are a rock. Yeah. That's who you are. And upon the revelation that you get about yourself will cause you to be able to build anywhere you want to build in the very gates of hell. Sure not that. That's good. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's great. Yeah, glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, man. That'll keep a girl from fornicating when she doesn't want to fornicate. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm a blood-bought, blood-washed child of the most high God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's just to tell you, I'm going to keep it locked till I get my rock. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, baby girl. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> No contact without a contract. Yeah. No ring, nothing. Yeah. yeah, man. And and pastors all over the country, unfortunately, all over the world, mm -hmm. don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Dying carbon copies when they were created. Mm. Originals. Well, driving in the wrong lane. Driving in the wrong lane. We cause accidents when we're in the wrong lane. And then the rubbernecking that happens after the accident delays everybody else's progress. Wow. 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 And so if there's, ever, if there's one thing I can offer you, Pastor, you need to just find out who you are. Okay, I'm all for having spiritual fathers. That's the word. But you're going to your spiritual father more than you are your heavenly father. Wow. And you're not getting wow. who you are. Wow. Yeah. That's real good. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and so if, if, wow. if God has created you the way he has created you, that's why I applaud you, man. You're doing your thing. You're forging ahead. You're being given world recognition. God is exalting you. You can't be concerned about what people think or what people going to say. Yeah. <clears throat> and somebody may have just told you you were not going to make it. That's not the definition of you. That's right. That's right. Somebody may have told you that 
you are going to be like your no good father. That's oh, not dude. God's definition for you, child of God. Tell them. Somebody may have offered you drugs and say, you're going to be a dope head because that's a generational thing for you. Mm. Well, the curse has been reversed. Yeah. And tonight, mm. in this setting, yes, sir. By the authority of the name Lord Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. We, break the power we break the power over a false identity. Hey. Glory to God. The false identity. Talking to the camera and tell him. The false identity that someone has trying has been trying to give you and offer you. I break the power of that tonight. In Jesus. Name. You'll have dreams and visions. An insight yes, sir. of the very thing God created you to do. And child of God, God told me about this favor that's being released in the body of Christ. Yes. I pray that favor hits you like a tsunami. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Yeah, glory to God. And overtake you where when somebody calls you something else, that does not line up with this word, baby, it'll be just like water off a duck's back. <laughs> and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Is free indeed. Glory to God. Amen, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Love you, man. We love you. Yes, sir. Apostle Bishop, um, we didn't get to talk about it, but I want everybody to go to uh, Apostle Michael's website. He is receiving um, another mantle. The baton is being passed to him from a father of the faith, Dr. Amen, Fred Price. And he'll be heading up faith thick with him. Thick with him. Right. Right. There were 300 churches, and uh, he's a man of God. You should go to his website. You'll be blessed. Every pastor, he's got something to say. This is a man of God that will help, help any leader. He's a leader's leader. We thank God for you. Can we give one more? God, one more.